So what would Chris do like in my real life outside of real estate with my, my dad, for example, you know, he suffers from Alzheimer's and I didn't know what to do. So I turned to Ron Goldman. <laughs> He's the director of Arizona elder care. So tell people, what do you do? Well, we're social workers. And so we do social work. We help families deal with complex systems like aging and mental health issues. And we, um, basically help them maneuver through the, the complex problems of, of aging and family dynamics and how to handle circumstances that they may not be familiar with. We're lucky in a lot of ways because we do this all the time. Most people like yourself, you got a mom and a dad. Yeah. If you've got a partner, you might have an extra set of mom and dad. And, but generally speaking, people don't do this very often. So we've done this hundreds of times with lots of different families to help them maneuver through and anticipate what might be coming down the pike. Right, with long-term care. And you were mentioning the brain client of yours recently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk about so, that one. So uh, a, a client who uh, in the past has had uh, brain cancer and because of their brain cancer, they weren't thinking straight. And so the family was beside themselves. They didn't know what to do. And so um, very intelligent people like your dad have great coping skills. And so even though they might be having cognitive problems, their family can see it. But when they have outside people come in, they, they turn it on. And so they know how to respond. They know what to do. They know how to act socially appropriate. So oftentimes, when the family says, yeah, they're having memory problems, the friends will be like, no, well, what are you talking about? At thinking it. I had another gentleman uh, who uh, was a, a, a professor. He was an economics professor and a uh, brilliant, brilliant man. You do the, the cognitive testing and he would pass. He would do good like on a, on a mental uh, status exam, which works on a 30 point scale. He'd get like a 28. But he couldn't find the kitchen in his house that he built. Wow. And, and so, you know, the, they go to the doctor and the doctor says, they seem fine. They're not incompetent. They can make their own decisions. But the wife or the husband might know that in the middle of the night, they're going to the bathroom in the closet. Yeah. Because they can't find the bathroom. And you step in and you pretty much give them a plan. Yes. It's like, here's what you need to do and here's what's covered. Mm -hmm. You find the avenues and the solutions for them mm -hmm. so they're not in the dark and the family members aren't in the dark. Right, exactly. And we help them anticipate what's going to happen and, and what different options they have. A lot of people don't even know what they don't know. And the challenge I see is a lot of times people don't get correct information and or they'll turn to somebody where they can get that same information but it costs them an absurd amount of money we do things um, a lot less expensive than you know say like an elder law attorney sometimes you'll need an elder law attorney and when that circumstance comes up we'll be the first to tell you you need to go over here you need this kind of help talk about your fiduciary side we can act as a power of attorney for people. We can act as a successor trustee or a personal representative. We can act as a guardian or a conservator. People who don't have kids, sometimes kids aren't trustworthy. Sometimes marriages are, people are in their second or third marriages. They both have kids. They wanna make sure that what their wishes are carried out because not all the time, families don't always blend like parents would hope. And so we sort of act as an objective outside provider uh, advocate for people to make sure that what they want to have happen happens. Absolutely cool. And you cover all of Northern Arizona? Yeah, and we have an office in Prescott as well. Fantastic. So You do great work. Thanks. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have made that day making that transfer. You rock, brother. Thanks. Yep. You rock. Thanks.